Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So um, I wanted to start a new project with you guys and um, I bought these from Hobby Lobby. I know they're not the real deal Crocs. My son informed me, but you know what? We're gonna hydro dip these and I wanted to try it out and just to see how they turn out. And um, anyways, I bought these at Hobby Lobby. They're actually having a really good sell right now. So I had to do it and I wanted to hydro dip them and see how they turn out. So I wanted to bring you guys along. Um, so these are a size seven, they're brand new, never been worn. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape the inside of these off and so that, I mean, if some, a little bit of the spray paint gets inside, it's okay. But for the most part, I want it to be um, covered up as much as possible. All right, so here we go, guys. All right, guys, so I went and I got some bags. You can use any grocery bags. You can use paper. You could use whatever you, you have on hand. And we're gonna use uh, painter's tape. You don't wanna use duct tape because the duct tape will actually leave a sticky film on this rubber stuff. So you don't wanna use it. Trust me, you don't wanna use it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and figure out how to get this little black piece off of here. And they're good. So if you guys hear any noise, um, it's been thundering out. It's about ready to come down hard. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but just a heads up in case you can. So I'm going ahead and taking off all of the all of the tags. So this is it's called um, the Spring Shop and this is the the brand they're about $9.99 at Hobby Lobby and you know I kind of wished I could pop this off but I think if I did it would break but anyways so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to stuff and we're gonna use our tape to trim you know put the tape in the inside but we're gonna leave this to where it can get spray on it um, we're going to take the sticker off the bottom because we don't need it. We want to make sure there's nothing on here. So I don't care if the bottom gets done, you know, I just, and I really don't care if the inside gets paint on it. I'm just going to kind of protect it a little bit. That way, um, if you have socks on with these, you know, it doesn't come off on your socks. Um... You know, if you want to do like a trial uh, pair, try an old pair. My son recommended a pair of his old ones, but I had already bought these. So I'm like, because he actually has the Crocs that, you know, he had to point out to me that these are not the real deal. But I could tell you, I'm not going to go spend 50 something dollars or $39 on a pair of Crocs and then hydro dip them and them not be the way I want them to work out. So, anyways, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the bag. This is a Walmart bag, so I'm just going to take it, put my hand in it, and I'm going to stuff it in all the way to the toe area. We're going to stuff it, and there's like little holes in here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stuff, well... I'm gonna do the best I can. It's better if you leave it open inside and then kind of cram. That way you can, so I don't know if you guys can see like in the hole. You're gonna get it in the holes anyways. I mean, nothing is 100%, but we're gonna do our best to. So what I'm doing is I got it in there, but I'm gonna just lightly kind of press just lightly press it in there to where it's like sitting in but it's covering up the holes as best it can so now I'm gonna take the the lip of this I'm gonna put the camera down so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about I'm gonna show you guys with one um, hold on one second Ooh. Um, 
trying to think. All right, so let me put this down so you guys can see what is going on. So this is what's going on, guys. All right, I think that's a good... Okay. I don't need that, I don't even know why. Okay, so basically, um, like I said, this is like pushed in there. And you don't want to push it super tight, but just enough to where it's like pressed up where the holes are. Now we're going to take this little doodad and I'm just going to push it down for a minute. And then we're going to take um, our painter's tape and we're going to do the best we can. And we're going to tape the inside of the shoe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the tape is going to just go on just around the rim like this. Okay, just like that. We're gonna go, we're gonna take it around, just give it a nice little press. All right, press it, press it. If you wanna try to use duct tape, you can, but I'm telling you that that sticky film will not come off as easy and you don't want to use any acetone on this rubber because you will mess the shoe up. And it's getting stuck to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of throw it up in there. So you could put as much as you need to. I'm actually going to put some here. And I'm just pushing it up against the top, but my goal is is just kind of cover this trim. Like I said, if any gets in there, it is what it is. But we're going to at least try to prevent as much as we can. As much as we can. So I'm going to go ahead and put more here. Just to give it a little bit more weight to hold the corners down. Okay, so once we get this how we want it, then we'll go ahead and start on the other one and then we will get all of our spray paints together and we'll get to the next stage. So this is basically, I'm gonna add some more tape just coming around the rim right here. But for the most part, this is exactly how it's gonna be. So when we dip it in there, this will all get wet, but the paint is what you don't want to stick inside the shoe. All right. All right, so I went ahead and did the other shoe off of cam. Didn't want to bore you guys with that. But this is pretty much how it's going to protect this part. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just as best you can. And, yep. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to do the Hydro Dip. All right, so we are outside on my porch. Um... As you can see, the shoes have been taped and the supplies that you're gonna need is pick as many paints as you want. Um, I will have every um, paint spray paint that I've used will be listed below. And you're gonna need a stir stick or um, you can use a straw, something, cause you're gonna make, you have to move the paint once it's in the water. You're gonna need a bucket and you're gonna need water. So. Um, right now I'm just showing you like different ones that I have. I just went ahead and tried to find the most vibrant colors of spray paint that I had to um, hydro dip these Crocs.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to dip the shoe in the paint, the spray paint. So whenever you dip it, you could either turn it, like twist, go in and twist. For this one, I just kind of went straight in. When you do a twist, it's gonna do more of a swirl look. This one, I just wanted to, you know, just go straight in. And then you're gonna clean up your paint and then you're gonna start all over for the second um, shoe that you do. And you're gonna do the same pattern or in this case, I started from the opposite end on my spray paints. So now you're going to take your straw or your popsicle stick, whatever you have, and you're just going to lightly stroke it to the side to all the way to the center and you're going to make that marble look. So it turned out really good. My husband didn't really like the, it was showing white still. I liked it, but we went ahead and just did a little dip in the water again because there was still spray paint on the top. Um, so I will show you what it looks like in a few minutes. All right, so we let them dry for probably about three hours um, outside and there's a fan uh, ceiling fan that's running so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start taking out the tape that way it can finish drying the shoe is pretty much dry there is water inside so as I was pulling it out there's just a little bit of water but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like afterwards it turned out so nice so the inside had very little bit of paint uh, spray paint that got in there so it looks so good you don't have to worry about it getting on your socks or your socks sticking to it um, or getting on your feet when you're wearing them so yeah I, I think they turned out really good um, you guys let me know what you think you can try any color combination that you want when you're doing a hydro dip you do not have to use as many as I did you can use up to two um, but it was a lot of fun and I loved how they turned out.
so we are done with these crocs they turned out amazing i love them i am going to put them on my facebook page they will be for sale if anybody's interested again i appreciate all of you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next video